Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Change my classes up a little bit here. Pinky is now a Beastmaster because she's got level 4 summoning now, so I can get the uh, the control ability. I've temporarily changed Gary Stu to a Red Mage because I know there's a boss coming up and I want him to reap the benefits of the ABP I'm inevitably being going to get. Um, that's a kid. Okay. Alright, Obi-Wan Kenobi, what? Okay, you're not the least bit awkward looking. So I know this guy is weak to fire, so... There's been a lot of references to fire lately. Jesus Christ. And... I do have, um, learning on my mail, so... Okay, I should probably cool it a little bit so this, you know, um, this guy will actually, you know, um, use his, um, blue magic on me. <laughs> Come on. Okay. That's good enough. On one of my characters. Oh, Ferris. Ferris, Ferris, Ferris. Come on. Come on. Seriously? Seriously? Okay, fine. Turn Gary Stu into a toad. He he he's he's done enough damage this this uh in this battle. He done good. And now you're gonna summon my new friend. So you can actually do something. Uppercut much? Um what was I not supposed to do that? What? Okay. I think I know what you're talking about, but since the game itself hasn't gone into that yet, I'm gonna shrug my shoulders and be like, huh? Yay! Okay, I don't know what that is, but whatever. What's up, dude? Um, nice nerd glasses, by the way. Well, duh! He's a nerd, don't you get it? Well, we're not gonna laugh at him? Because we, like, laugh at everything else. <laughs> yeah, um, well, the whole party is a bunch of, uh, misfits and strangelings, so yeah, why are we expecting anything different <laughs> here? Shortcut? Sure! Secret passages in the books. Well, it's about time we actually had this show up in a library. Yes, we didn't really give a damn about you. We just sent four strangers to come and rescue you from absolutely nothing. Give me money? Give me money? Something? Sorry, be gone there. Well, at least he's grateful. He's like, yeah, I didn't need rescuing, but okay. You guys are cool anyway. Really? Do tell. Okay, apparently news travels really fast. But then again, this is a JRPG, so why I was expecting anything different, eh, yeah. Oh no! I didn't see this coming at all! Well, I totally did, by the way. I, like, knew this before. Yeah, except for the fact, you know, he was kind of thrown in jail, and... Yeah. Did he ever say that? Or maybe he said said that if I go back and talk to him after? Like, before this? I don't know. I just don't remember ever that happening, but given how my track record is going so far in some things. Uh, 
Alright, sorry about that. I had to blow my nose. Alright, so let's get rid of Gary Stu's frogginess. Get in there! Why are you people still panicking? Alright, so what did he what did he go back to town? You let him? Like seriously, you're all worried about this like eight year old or whatever. And then you're gonna be like yeah, just let him wander off into the wilderness of his own accord. Brilliant move. Alright, so I'm guessing he went back to town, because that's the last place we saw Sid. Okay, I need to change Gary Stu back to a black mage temporarily, because he's pretty close to level 4 uh, black magic, so I want him to get that before I start going back to um, training the red mage. Alright, that's one level down job down for the Beastmaster. And I need to take off Pinky's uh, summoning. Because now I got no white magic anymore. <laughs> that's right, there's nothing down there. I still need to get the uh, the, the Mithril Dragons to re-show up again so I can learn their magic. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to do that right now because I have no idea what's going to happen assuming um, I advance the plot over there. So I don't know if I'll be coming back to the library anytime soon. I just I just have a feeling because he said um, he has a way to, to power up the ship again. So I'm guessing this is where I actually, you know, reacquire an actual ship. Because I don't know how to get to any other areas from here. It doesn't look like I can, so I probably have to sail. And it might be like a thou must and put me into a... Um, um, a, a sort of a point of no return kind of thing until much later. That's what some of the comments are giving me the impression of as well. So you know what that means, that's time, it's time to level grind as well, because I still need to pick up level 5 death, and I'm not level 20 yet. So, hooray, level grinding here, ho. Alrighty, I have finally reached level 20, still don't quite have catch yet, but as you can see, we're getting pretty close. So I'm gonna go after the page 64 that's right here. When he appears... Oh, why did I do that? That was not cool. There we go, okay. See, no, I'm not even gonna bother to cure you because, well... You're gonna die anyway. And there goes most of my party. But thankfully, Gary Stu here has Fists of Fury. Thanks, Bart, for learning that you're a real pal. Even though you're, you know, kind of dead and all. <laughs> and, and actually, that will catch Gary's do up on experience a bit. Because how far... Actually, I can't really check how far behind he is now. So, hooray! Level 5 death has been acquired! I'm glad I took that one, because the, the healing pot was right there! So, everyone is a-okay now. So, now I just gotta finish grinding for, um... Um the control skill, which I'm pretty close to getting. Alright, so now we have control on our side. Is that That's actually an ability, right? Okay, alright. No, no, no. Don't hit B. Because we need... We're going to change her back to... Uh, where is... There's my white mage. Because uh, she's pretty lacking on that, because, well, especially because I wasted all that time turning it for black magic and then changed my mind about who I wanted to be the black mage. Uh, Alright. Let us learn some transfusion, shall we? I've seen them use it, but since, you know, it, they don't cast it on me, that kind of sucks. And of course they get back attack, and this is one formation I have actually yet to see. I have never run into this encounter. Is this like the rarest one or something? And I say that with sarcasm because obviously I don't have any trouble running into these monsters otherwise, but... Alright, so let's see how this works. I 
I have no idea how control is supposed to work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I remember something now, something now. Okay, uh, something about they have to um, be, like, at a certain HP, I think. Alright, so I can't have you punch it because, well, you're gonna kill it, so why don't you punch it? This is gonna be a pain in the ass to learn this stuff then! You it enough HP now? No! You do nothing! I don't have time magic on, otherwise I would just go ahead and haste Pinky, but I don't. I put, uh, I put first strike on, uh, Seymour, because, well, I have that now. Although, I'm not sh looking back, I'm not sure why, because if the whole encounter thing works, like, the way it does in 4, I'm already kicking the crap out of everything anyway. There we go, okay. Okay, so now, do I have to wait for Pinky's turn again? Okay, um, um, we'll use it on Gary's too. Who didn't have learning on? I just forgot about that. Oh god, do I feel dumb. <laughs> I forgot I took learning off because I gave him the Fist of Fury. Oops. <laughs> well, at least I know how to get it now, and I know what I'm doing now, so I'll get that. Okay, that time I got it right. <laughs> Alright, after looking stuff up, it seems I have two more blue magics I can get from the library. Which is going to require insanely more overleveling. Because I don't know how to get page 256 to actually appear, and I know there's like a funky sequence of, yeah, you defeat one page, and oh no, another one just pops up, and blah 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 blah, all that bullcrap. No, I'm not gonna heal you right now because we totally have a healing pot right inside, so no, no, you're not gonna get healed. Sorry. Okay, took a while, but I finally got both blue magics off page 256. Pain in the butt, mind you. So now we're gonna power up our chicken knife and run away from everything. Because as we all know, I'm probably insanely overleveled by now. <laughs> now. That's entirely a bad thing in a game where you're not sure exactly what's coming and thus doesn't hurt to be a little bit overprepared. I mean, like, like seriously, I have almost 700 HP on Ferris. I think that's a bit ridiculous. I'm gonna max her out as a Mystic Knight, just so I can get the, the stat boost for a Freelancer later, and... I have plans for her later, but we haven't gotten the job... yet. So... But sorry if this episode was a bit, uh, short from you guys' end. For me, it's over 45 minutes, so... yeah, I'm calling it a day. I don't care if you didn't see me accomplish anything, because, well... It was boring, and y'all didn't need to see it. So, um, if you guys want to stick around for next time, that would be... Oh, come on, come on. Can I do my standard walk in circles thing without getting interrupted here? Actually, it's my own damn fault, but I'll see you next time, everybody.